my channel. So today's video is going to be the first boxy charm box. I've never done this description service before. I've done, like years ago, I did Ipsy and Birchbox, and I just feel like there's a lot of different brands or a lot of different companies that are coming up with the subscription boxes, and I love them. Um, I recently subscribed to the FabFitFun one, and I like it because you can pick and choose the different ones, but there's sometimes like I'll pick and choose stuff that I know I'm going to, to like or I know I'm going to use. And sometimes it's good to have like a subscription service where it sends you products that you wouldn't normally try because you can find something that you really, really like. So I kept saying BoxyCharm, a couple of the YouTube um, YouTubers that I follow and those on Instagram really, really like it. So I decided to go ahead and subscribe. I think I only paid for three months. Um, cause I definitely want to give it a chance, you know, three months, I feel like I would decide whether or not I like it or, you know, like it and like the products and stuff, but let's go ahead and get into the unboxing of what I got in the boxy charm. So it kind of comes like this. Um, it does have a little card and it looks like it does detail out everything that you've received in the box. It tells you how much it is and gives you a little bit about the product, which I find super, super helpful because sometimes when you look at a product and it doesn't have anything on it, you're like, what, what do I do with it? Like how often do I use it? That sort of thing. So let's go ahead and I'm going to start at the top. So this is the it cosmetics confidence in a cream transforming moisturizer, super cream. So it basically says that it's perfect for all skin types, even the most sensitive. It's quick absorbing. It immerses your skin in moisture, restores visible radiance, reduces look of pores, discoloration, lines, and wrinkles, and improves the look of firmness. Um, and this retails for $48. So I like, I, I wouldn't say I like love It Cosmetics. I have a lot of their products that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, particularly their It um, the skin rejuvenating primer which i'm obsessed with but i do really really like their product so i'm very excited to try this moisturizer out and see what i think about it and of course it's full size so that is it's huge so next is the laura geller dew dreamer illuminating drops it says it's highly concentrated and ultra pigmented their liquid multi-use illuminator is all you need to customize your glow Formulated with for ultimate versatility, it can be used to highlight bare skin, blend it with moisturizer or foundation, or layered as a finishing touch. So it creates a healthy, lit from within glow, instantly blurring the appearance of imperfections as it highlights, and it retails for $32. So I have been in the market for a liquid highlighter that I actually like. I've tried a couple, and I just don't like them, um, but this one, let's see what it looks like. So it looks like it's got a pinky kind of look to it. This is in Ballerina. I'm gonna put a lot on just so you can see it. Um, my skin is so fair, like I have literally no pigment in my skin. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. Yes. Let me see how it kind of like, it definitely is oily. Like I can feel just the oil on my skin but I do like the way it's just a very shiny highlighter. It's not glitzy or glittery or anything like that. It's just a very pretty like sheeny highlighter. So I think for me personally with fair skin, I don't know if they, cause I, when I filled out the quiz, it did ask me like what color eyes I have and what color, you know, hair and all that stuff and skin color and stuff. So I wonder if they customize the different stuff to, um, you know, for your skin type. So very, very pretty. I'm excited about that one. So next is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. It says it's smooth, creamy, lightweight that stays all day long. It's highly pigmented, vegan, and cruelty-free. It coats your lips in just one swipe, delivering the color you want and need. It's infused with vitamin E and sunflower seed oil, giving your lips the moisturizing comfort they deserve, and it retails for $20. So I have a love-hate relationship with liquid, lips, with liquid lipsticks because my lips are so dry. I have to, I'm very, very picky when it comes to liquid lipsticks because they will suck out all the moisture of my lips. But I like the fact that it is moisturized or it does have vitamin E and the sunflower oil to moisturize. Like that is like what they're trying to get at. Um, I would normally try this on, but let me 
um, but it's just not gonna look good. So this is super vampy, super vampy. It's kind of like a taupey purple, kind of brown taupe purple kind of undertone. I love it. I don't know how much I would actually wear it because it is a little bit too dark and a little bit too goth for me particularly, but you know, for a night out or whatever, um, maybe I could pull it off. So not sure about that one. So next is the Tula Bright All Night Energizing Sheet Mask. There's two of them in here. It says it's a new pre-party ritual. It's a holographic sheet mask, combines probiotics and skin superfoods to give you skin that lights up the room. And this uh, retails for $24. So it looks like you're supposed to cleanse your skin, you apply the mask, you leave on for 10 minutes, and then you massage in any of the um, existing serums. So I love sheet masks. I don't do them as much as I should. I should be, you know, doing a sheet mask every week and sometimes I just forget or I just, you know, get caught up in other things. So I really, really like this. I think I'm going to enjoy that. So last but not least, this is Pretty Vulgar, the ink gel-based eyeliner. It's highly pigmented gel liner. It's quick drying and it's enriched with vitamin C to condition the lids. It's creamy and water resistant, allows for smooth application that stays in place all day. And this retails for $24. So this packaging is so cute. It looks like, you know, an ink quill kind of thing. I don't know why I just smelled it. That's weird. Like, it smells funny. I don't know. I have this thing about, like, I just like to smell things, I guess. I don't know. It just looks like it might smell like something. It does smell like something. It's not particularly bad, but it's not pleasant either. Like, it's not like, oh, it smells good, but it doesn't smell bad. It's just kind of in the middle, but it does have a strong scent. Um, let me grab something so I can see how pigmented it is. So I'm just grabbing a Q-tip. So it definitely is matte. And it does look like it is pretty pigmented. I obviously put a lot on, but it's something that you can build up and that's pretty, pretty dark. So I like it. I don't think it's the darkest um, black that there is, but I don't necessarily because my skin is so fair and my hair is so light I don't need something that's like jet jet black this one will this one will do so all in all I'm really really impressed with the products that I got in this first boxy charm um, it's definitely products aside from maybe the lipstick this is drying down now and you can kind of see what it dries to it's pretty, I don't know if it's necessarily me. I wish, like to me, that's a little bit more of a fall color. And as we're going into spring, I don't know how much I actually will be using it, but I still, again, it's one of those things like I could absolutely love the formula and then go and it will just introduce me to more colors and stuff like that. So I really like it. I really like the stuff that I got. I think it's definitely worth your money. So let me know what you guys' thoughts are on BoxyCharms. If you have any questions, please leave your comments below. I will leave all the details about BoxyCharm in the description just in case you are interested in that sort of thing. You can get more information about it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Until next time, bye. Mm -hmm.